Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Hopeless by Colleen Hoover. This is a young adult, new adult romance story. It's the first Colleen Hoover book that I've read. I do have Losing Hope that I also picked up from my library and I really enjoyed this book and I have a lot to talk about so let's get started. For starters, the synopsis, of course, is a young girl, 17 years old, named Skye, who has been homeschooled since she was adopted at the age around five years old. So she lives with her adoptive mother, who is a single woman that is dating a guy, but she lives alone with Skye. It's just the two of them, and she's homeschooled Skye. For her senior year of high school, Skye wants to go and experience public school with her best friend, Six. The problem is, is that Six, for her senior year of high school, has been um, chosen to go on a study abroad program, so Skye is going to have to go forth in high school and experience it on her own. She goes on her first day of high school and it isn't everything that it's cracked up to be and it actually kind of sucks for her but she doesn't want to admit that her mother was right so she goes ahead and finishes out her senior year of high school there. Um, she continues on her journey. So it's actually about Sky going through high school, but then of course she meets two guys. The first guy ends up being her new bestest friend in the entire world, and I actually wish he was in the book a little bit more than he was. And the other guy is Holder. And Holder, like Sky herself, has a lot of rumors circulating around about him, and Sky is kind of drawn to him. Their interactions are rather intense, and it leads to a lot of things that happen within the book. So that's just a little bit about it, but of course there are a lot of other things that are discussed in the book as well. There are some trigger warnings. There's quite a few dark topics that um, are interwoven throughout the story that include rape, suicide, child abuse, depression, you know, things like that. So there are some darker topics. So if those bother you, I probably would not recommend it. But if those things don't bother you as much, um, they aren't glorified or anything like that. But if you can get through those topics, um, I highly recommend this book to you. So the characters are something that I absolutely fell in love with. I found them very realistic and um, beautiful and intense and realistic. Um, of course, Sky is the main character and her best friend Six. They have that playful high school best friend vibe going. Six isn't in the book as much, of course, because she leaves um, to go to study abroad, but they text and stuff like that, and she sends um, Sky positive affirmations, like how wonderful Sky is. So that's really fun. Um, and they do, there is a little bit of slut shaming as people have said about um, they, they do call each other slut because you know they do make out with guys and people of course see that and so there is that but um, it's just kind of typical high school you know behavior and lingo so that didn't really bother me. Um, Holder as a character is very difficult to figure out and after you get through the story, you understand, and I think Sky comes to understand why he is the way he is as well, and that's part of his journey and development throughout the story, um, but I really found them realistic and likable and not really likable as in I could be friends with them, but likable as characters in this story. And I feel like that was kind of part of the point is that they're both um, have rumors circulating about them. So they're both kind of outcasts for different reasons and they kind of find each other and they have things in common and I think it just kind of works as a relationship and as characters. Um, the setting of course is mainly at home and at high school so that kind of you know fits with the story since it's kind of her coming of age story and dealing with her past and things like that. Um, the plot again is basically she's going to high school for the first time and she meets Holder in their relationship but Sky was adopted around the time that she was like five years old or at least she can't remember anything from before she was five year five years old 
she does have these memories slash flashbacks that kind of give her a little piece and she doesn't know whether they're dreams or whether they're real or like exactly what it is so she's kind of always had these but as she interacts with holder um, it becomes more frequent and she's starting to remember more and feel more and she's trying to explore what happened and find out about her past and her father and her mother and you know all of that of course, the conflicts are, you know, the coming of age tale, discovering high school and bullying, and um, also what happened to Skye when she was adopted, um, why was she adopted, um, and kind of overcoming her mother's or her adoptive mother's um, kind of reign. Like she doesn't let her like they don't have a TV in their house. There's no cell phones. There's no sugar. There's no so it's so funny because when our mom like goes away to these um, events or whatever and Sky's kind of home alone she like bakes all these cookies and cakes and stuff and I don't know it's just really cute um, the resolution a lot of people had issues with it because as things progress in the book and the story kind of unfolds um, some people weren't really happy with the way that it ended. They think that more extreme measures should have been taken. And I'll take a direct quote from the book and say, it's real six. You can't get mad at a real ending. Some of them are ugly. It's the fake happily ever afters that should piss you off. And I just truly, oh, it's giving me goosebumps just saying it. Oh, um, to me, that's just just hit the nail on the head. That's exactly it. Is it a happily ever after? No, not really. Yes, it does have a good resolution and I was happy with the ending. It seemed more realistic to me if I were to be Sky and witnessed all the stuff that she witnessed and gone through and I probably would have done the same thing. I would like to say that maybe I would have taken different a different avenue or different steps, but realistically, probably would have done exactly what happened. So I can't really blame her. And the conflicting things about the book, you know, one minute you're loving it, one minute you're hating it. And I mean, I just feel like that's kind of the point. And yes, it is a little bit Lifetime movie-ish, but I love Lifetime movies, so there's that. Um, but if you're kind of into that thing, I totally think that you'll be into it. I did not cry. I did not feel like sad really I mean I didn't I I was distanced enough from those parts of the book that it didn't make me cry but some of the other parts definitely gave me goosebumps and I felt all the feels um I ended up rating this book five stars again it was the first Colleen Hoover book that I read and it the writing was fast paced and interesting and realistic and there's a lot going on but it all kind of fits I kind of wish that there was more like I wish six was in it more I wish her guy friend was in it more um, and there are a lot of dark topics kind of interwoven throughout. So there is a lot going on. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of, I mean, this will definitely be a book that I pick up and read again so I can get more details and kind of pick up on things as um, the story progresses. But I highly recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. Um, there are some mixed feelings from other people, but from me, five stars. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, I'm going to be linking two reviews in the description box. I'm going to link Whitney's review and Sam from Thoughts on Tomes recently read it in May and talked about it a little bit in her wrap up. So I'm going to post those two in the description box. I highly recommend you check them out because um, Whitney really points out some feminist kind of viewpoints about the slut shaming and so forth. And Sam kind of deals with a lot of um, foster um, kids like you know, fostering out children. So she kind of deals with those issues and she was kind of relating that to like the real life point of view thing. But I would highly recommend you pick up this book and watch their reviews. But that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.